Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Julius D. Bear with Majestic Studios uh, coming at you with another antelope audio uh, video. Uh, I specifically have the uh, antelope audio Goliath, the silver face. I call it the OG Goliath. Uh, but I think this, uh, what I'm going to show in this video, will uh, be useful for all the antelope audio uh, interfaces that utilize the, uh, the this control panel and this routing interface as well as the Aura Verb. Uh, there was a question that came up on the Facebook group uh, today uh, about an hour or so ago where a guy asked how to record the Aura Verb uh, reverb. He wants to record the um, output from that, that reverb into his DAW. And uh, I had planned to post a video, so I wanted to get this up for him real quick. Um, so basically, um, I'm assuming that you already know how to record. Um, but before I before I show that, I'll just you know I'll start with this. The R verb is a reverb uh, that you have access to um, with the first uh, Q mixer or the first mixer. Um, within the control interface, we have four on the Goliath system, mixer one, mixer two. Uh, let me uh, turn this uh, clicker on. Uh, we have four, one, two, three, four that we have access to, but mixer one is the only one, as you see, that has the R verb settings up here at the top. When you go to mixer two, mixer three, or mixer four, the R verb settings leave. They're not, not uh, able to be uh, adjusted but with the mixer one that's where the r verb is being sent to um and um you can also adjust the the send of each one of these channels that of anything that's being sent to this verb uh you can adjust the send and it will pop up or be adjusted uh, based on these uh, settings that you have here at the top of the screen but if you want to record them uh, there's a little uh, trick routing trick that you could do it's really simple um, everyone knows that the mixer channel one, mixer channel two, mixer channel three, mixer channel four, these are where we set up our mixes for our artist or however, whoever is monitoring. But mixer channel one is the one where the R verb is being routed to. Well, the output of mixer channel one is automatically sent to mix one left and right, right here at the top. So anything that is being output to these, to mixer channel one, these 32 channels, anything that's being routed there is output to mixer channel one left right. So just like any other input that is sent up here, if you want to record it, you just select those channels like mix one, mix two. I, I would just record those one channels, each channel, and then I would send those channels to the TB rec one through 32, 33 through 64, or the USB record. Uh, for example, so if I wanted to record um, the the mix one and mix two, and I wanted to pop up on uh, the first and the second channel in my DAW, I would highlight channel one and two. If I was recording a stereo um, stereo output or stereo input, and I would drag one and two down to Thunderbolt record one through thirty two. I mean uh, channels one and two, or you could pick two, any other two channels. Um, just like if you were doing any other recording. These are the, where you would drag those items, those inputs to that are being recorded or the outputs that are being recorded. You would send them to your TB rec or your USB rec. And the same thing if you want to record a headphone mix or record a combination of uh, instruments that you're being sent that are being sent to one of your mixers, you would just simply send the output of that mixer into the TB record or the USB record. Now here's an interesting trick that um, that probably will be useful. That, as you see, that would only allow you to be able to record one thing at a time because if you're sending uh, four or five things to this to this mixer and then you're sending that whole output out of mix one LR into your recording, um, it's going to record everything that's coming into that mix. So something that would be kind of cool that would allow you to do at least two things would be to pan those channels in the mixer in the mixer just pan them hard left or hard right and that would allow them to go out of the left channel which would be channel one or the right channel which would be channel two and then you just drag those individual channels so if i have a microphone on channel one and i'm trying to record uh that channel with the reverb 
and it's being sent to this first channel here and I have another microphone on channel 10 and it's being sent to this channel here and I want the reverb that's being sent that they're being sent to to both be recorded then I would just take um, if I, I would pan excuse me let me go back to that I would pan channel 1 hard left and pan channel 10 hard right and then I would uh, come out of the the mixer here I would take the left channel which would be channel one by itself and I would drop that on one of these well let me get it where it's not uh, not picking up okay so yeah there it is you just get one channel and you take that one channel down here and you would put it on the channel to record I would have this I'm sending this to channel four and then I would take the right pan side which would be channel two and I would send that to another channel to record and that's why that way you can get two channels are recorded with our verb at one time so anyway I just want to get that quick video up I hope it helps somebody if you have any questions please uh, post them below uh, but to stay up to date with the antelope audio uh, videos from Majestic Studios please uh, subscribe to this channel and uh, like it comment share and most importantly subscribe uh, hope you guys have a great day enjoy it bye bye